This is Lake Geneva, located at the foot of the Alps. This magnificent lake lies on the border between Switzerland and France. Evaporating waters from this lake today will become our guide as we follow it on a journey to some of our planet's most remote and inaccessible locales. Places which have held a timeless attraction to explorers. Our voyage today is made possible by utilizing the modern day explorer's tools. It's a fantastic place where we have uh, 360 degrees uh, view of the planet. The views from the International Space Station are magnificent and give you an unprecedented and unique perspective on Earth. Almost half of the human population gets its fresh water from the area known as the roof of the world, the Himalayas. For centuries, explorers have battled the rugged terrain on foot to map their rivers and valleys. Today's modern explorer is able to cover larger expanses in a fraction of the time using satellites. Diagramming snow cover and melting glaciers with far more detail and accuracy. The waters feed the expansive Yellow River system. Dr. Ko Wai Chong combines local information with remote sensing to help manage the river's waters. We have developed a river sediment model. With this model, we can simulate and forecast the development of floods and assess the area and range of the flooding. From the fertile Yellow River Delta, we move on to more hostile environments, the Arctic Ocean. Felix Chudy is a ship owner who's exploring new economic possibilities in the Arctic. Imagine if Nansen and Amundsen would have had satellite-based sea ice monitoring. Norwegian Minister of Transport and Communications, Shetil Solvik Olsen. Good information is important for the effective management of our oceans. Through Barnes Watch, we develop tools combining local and global data that enable good decision making. Barnes Watch is an example of regional initiatives that both benefit from and contributes to the global system. Satellite based sea ice monitoring is an important contribution. Sinking beneath the cold waters of the Arctic, we can now follow the Gulf Stream and ocean currents as they propel us to the other end of the Earth, the Antarctic. Professor Toshio Koike is an expert on the global water cycle. As symbolized by the dramatic change in the ice sheets of Antarctica, the global water cycle is now changing. Increased observational capability of the water cycle will improve our understanding and prediction capability. Earth observations are equally important in warmer climates, such as the Mediterranean, where politicians have to balance economic growth considerations against protecting the environment. Professor Bushta Ilmumni works on improving the access to information on the Mediterranean's North African coast. We provide science-based, reliable information to decision-makers so they can make good decisions in case of conflicting interests between different sectors such as fisheries, tourism and land use. We round out our journey by sailing from the Camargue Delta on the French Mediterranean and up the Rhone River, arriving finally at the Rhone's headwaters in the Swiss Alps. This expedition we have taken shows us how the global Earth observation system of systems allows us to work together. Combining global, regional, and local resources to share data across borders in a way that benefits the entire planet.